at the Democratic Republic of Congo, the findings of a probe, probe have shown that more than 88 workers, including some employed by the World Health Organization, that's the WHO, were involved in sexual abuse and exploitation during an Ebola crisis in that country. The probe was prompted by an investigation last year by the Thomson Reuters Foundation and the New Humanitarian, in which more than 50 women accused aid workers from the WHO and other charities of demanding sex in exchange for jobs between 2018 and 2020. In his long-awaited report, the commission found that at least 21 of 83 suspected perpetrators were employed by the WHO and that the abuses, which included nine allegations of rape, were committed by both national and international staff. 29 of the women became pregnant and some were forced to later abort by the abusers. WHO Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, who has pledged zero tolerance of sexual abuse and is said to be seeking a second term at the United Nations Health Body, said the report made harrowing reading and apologized to the victims. This is an extremely common problem that's been uh, around for decades. And uh, in Haiti, in the Central African uh, Republic, in Congo itself, uh, in both. Uh, so here you have uh, poor, vulnerable women in some of the most desperately impoverished countries in the world, uh, raped and their lives destroyed. And the uh, UN system says, oh, we're very sorry.